everybody. Today I'm going to do a little more work on my leaf blower. Um, I picked up a new spark plug and I also got some great information. I, I want to start off by saying thank you to everybody who responded and gave me ideas of what they thought this might be based on experiences they've had. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by using a new spark plug because the old one, you know, I'll kind of show it to you. It, it's, it's not really fouled out, but it's pretty dirty. So uh, we're going to use a new spark plug. And um, one of the suggestions I really liked is possibly the, I'm pumping the, the uh, gas pump too many times. It says on the instructions to pump it six times, but the concern was from Steve Tidwell, and this is, this is really interesting, is maybe you only need to pump it two or three times. Maybe you're getting enough gas flow into the carburetor and you're putting too much in there, which is flooding it and making it difficult to start. That makes a lot of sense. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pop this new plug in and then I'm going to watch as I pump it. Right now I can see a tiny bit of gas in the little bubble, but as I pump the bubble, uh, I expect it to fill up on the first pump and maybe the second pump. If it does, then the second pump, I'll say put the gas in the carburetor, call it quits, and we're going to try to start it. So let's get started by putting the new plug in. I'm set to go. I've got my new plug unboxed. And I'm going to just do the same exact thing. I'm going to start by turning it in reverse to line the threads up. And there we go. I've got a nice, smooth transition. I'm going to use the socket just because it's a tight space. And I can twist it in easier. Snug it up by hand. And we'll take our socket wrench. And we'll just give it an ever so slight snug just to tighten it down. Reattach our plug wire. Now let's take it out in the driveway and prime it fewer times. Uh, and see if we can get this thing started much easier than we were able to before. I'm ready to give this a try. We're going to start out. I'll let you watch the, the primer. I don't know how well you can see it there. I'm going to hit it one time. No gas. Second time. No gas. Third time. It's about half full. I pressed it. Now it's put gas into the carburetor. I'm going to flip it over to start. And... Let's go ahead and pull it a couple times. Okay, three pulls. Hold the trigger. Well, I don't think that was the problem. I'm gonna hit it one more time. All right, obviously, um, the spark plug wasn't the issue, number one. Number two, I wasn't over priming it and flooding it. I don't think that was an issue because I was very careful about that. Um, the other suggestions I had from multiple people were you're possibly going to need a carburetor adjustment or a replacement carburetor. Um, I happened to have another one of these carburetors on a weed eater that I purchased and did not like, so I've hung it up in the shed. Um, and I'm using it as parts for both my other weed eater and this because they have the same motor. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm not exactly sure how to do the carb adjustments. So I'm going to put this project on hold. I'm going to go do a little research on the internet. And when I figure out how to do the carb adjustment, I'll come back and we'll work on that. So anybody else have any other ideas? I'd like to hear those in the meantime. But uh, you'll see me again once I figure out how to properly do the carb adjustment. And uh, we'll see if we can't get this thing uh, running again. A couple of more pulls to see if we'll get her going.